Well, uh, I, you know, I think we've shown uh, a great deal of resiliency and resolve all year. I mean, that's that's how I see it. Uh, you know, we talked uh, a little bit this morning about, you know, our group and, uh, you know, bouncing back and whether it's easier to come back after a day game or, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter to us. You know, if this game would have been a day off, it would have been a night game. Our guys have been good all year about, you know, flipping the page and moving on to the next game. And that's either, you know, a tough loss or a great win. You know, you can't, you know, you can't rest on your laurels and you can't hang your head after a tough one. And our guys haven't done that. But it was good to see, you know, that type of game today and us win it. I mean, that was, uh, you know, that was a good one for sure. Uh, and I know that, uh, you know, as, as uh, you know, disappointing as it was, you know, last night, I think it's just as gratifying or more today. Um, Charlie Blackman seems to have a, a distinct knack for, for turning a game that's starting to go over for him. He's over three to start and he completely flips. He just, well, really yeah, he does. I mean, he, you know, he, <clears throat> he gives you a good at bat, uh, you know, each and every time, regardless of the score. And I think, you know, he has that innate ability, I think, to, you know, in the, in the most crucial of situations to, you know, get that extreme focus. But you know he never he never gives up on that bat, uh, you know regardless of the score, uh, you know what's going on. You know it's cold, it's hot, it's rainy, it's windy. I mean he, you know he, you know he gives you a good one. So I mean that was a, that was a great swing, great swing. Uh, and since the tell coming back. Uh, since the tell hung in there, man. You know uh, you know he wobbled a couple times, but. <clears throat> you know, got through it. I really liked the first and third no outs, uh, and uh, didn't give up a point. But I thought uh, today uh, he and John did a nice job of, of working in the curveball and the slider both. And you know, the fastball, uh, for the most part, had you know pretty good, uh, pretty good location. But that, that was you know he gave us five innings and he was stressed a, a couple different times. But you know he he uh, he held on, which is great. And obviously our bullpen. Uh, seven innings of, of no run balls, you know, uh, spectacular. Uh, uh, Talked to Darren Holmes just right after the game. He said his stuff was outstanding in the pen, and he just carried it over to the game. You know, we've talked about Tyler's, you know, stuff all year, but you know that's not an easy role for a, a starting pitcher to come in and and <clears throat> and really throw strikes and. You know, get after it. You know, and it, you know that was I, I really like that. I mean, that was that was great. He's been, you know, put in a tough spot a little bit team wise, but man, he, he responded today. I think, uh, you know, that was good for good for Tyler, good for the team to, you know, with uh, you know without Holland, without Nishak, without Dunn, you know, we had to do it with a lot of other guys. So, uh, you know, that's uh, you know such a good feeling for the group when you have such <coughs> contributions from the rest of the guys. That was great. Tyler was great. LaCroix's big hit in the ninth, you know, after Carlos got the single. Uh, can't, uh, you know, go without saying something about John and the way he handled the pitching staff. You know, guys he hasn't really caught, per se, and he, he handled a bunch of them and uh, handled them superbly in a, in a very tight game on the road against a very good team. So uh, hats off to John in a, in a, lot, of, a lot of areas.